All right, Spencer Brink. Uh, first of all, congrats just on a great senior year. Thank you very much. And it goes back. I mean, everything with this team, I think, has to kind of tie into last year, your experience, and and your teammates have talked about how important it was to get you back in the mix. How important was it for you to be part of this team? Well, I was thinking last year, right when I was getting back from my injury, that I wanted to focus on basketball, make sure I got back to that for a little bit at least, and I was able to get back right at the beginning of the season. And once I went through basketball, went through track, I felt my body was strong enough to play football this, this year, and then I, I think I would have regretted everything if I went to have played football this year, hanging with my friends, doing all the stuff during the summer, working out, getting ready for this season. And I think I would have had a lot of regrets if I wouldn't have done it. Now, you and Tom Murphy were quarterbacks at one time in the youth program. Yep. Then last year, he was the center for you when you were at quarterback. Now you're both playing defense together. Yep. How's that progression worked, and what do you like about playing on defense with him? Oh, me and Tom, I think we gel pretty well together. Obviously, he's a great middle linebacker. And then me and Matt Ripple on the secondary, Nick Farney. Obviously, we just have a really good perimeter defense, I think. And so far, it's been working well for us in the playoffs. And Tom holding down all the runs. and us in the secondary. Now you still get to play some offense. That's yep. that fun now switching over to wide receiver? Oh yeah, that's a blast. I think even if I went to play wide or quarterback last year, I think wide receiver would have been where I would have been at. And, I mean, I've, whatever I've been touching the ball, it's been some pretty big play, so I've been having a lot of fun with it. Well, you've got a, a veteran lineman there, a three-year starter, and you know, Kyle Dahman and the line. You look at the offense with what uh, Seth White has done since yep. he stepped in for you, and, and Chris Wells, Ben Young, and you know, it just on the list yeah. goes on. Our uh, yeah, our uh, skill positions have been huge this year. I mean, obviously Chris has had a huge year. I mean, last year I think he might have, might think that he had a little disappointing year, first year on varsity, but obviously this year he came back and it's obviously all city, all region, all conference, and he's just having a great year for us. And Ben, with another another running back, Evan Bondock, sophomore, has just been huge for us. In the backfield, obviously Seth and Jack. Just that's not really good one-two punch with our passing game. And I think uh, one of the guys mentioned a T-shirt. You got to find a way in the back and team on the front. Yep. Pretty much epitomizes what's gotten you to this level. It's not one yep. guy or one one it's, aspect it's, of the game. We were just talking about yesterday about how we don't we don't care who scores. We don't care who gets all the credit. We don't care who gets all the headlines of the paper. Just as long as we have a W. As long as we're ahead on the left side of the scoreboard. There a little magic going on, or is it you guys just don't want to end the season because you don't want to quit hanging out together? <laughs> well, I think just obviously there's two more weeks left. Might as well have those two weeks with all of our friends. Last year, senior year, just hopefully two more weeks ahead of us. Uh, uh, one of the strengths too, I think, in this team is the number of athletes that are involved in other sports. So you're yep. one of them on uh, basketball and track, and. Uh, I'm sure you got coaches waiting for you, but yeah. you're telling Coach Z yeah. for basketball, hey, wait, uh, we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. I mean, he's been supportive for us, obviously, with Jack being his son. He's been supportive, making sure that we can win, obviously, hopefully win that state championship and at least have a chance to win it next week. And he's been supportive, making sure that we have, we're able to get back on time, even if we lose this week. We'll be able to take a couple of days off so we can start strong in basketball, whether it's this week or next week. You like the success you've had in football. Is this uh, kind of rub off from baseball and track and other sports, that you know, basketball too, that have had success? Yep. Edgewood, obviously a huge sports school, I think, and obviously the baseball team making a state, winning the state championship a couple years ago. That's just and obviously track, and then our basketball team has made a sexual final. Girls golf, I mean, everything. Just our sports programs have been huge, and obviously... We want to build on that legacy. Well, congrats on a great year, and I uh, hope you can extend it another week. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, Spence.